Hello internet lords and ladies, boys and girls, and welcome to Steel's Nuclear Throne Guidebook episode 78. So I don't know who I want to play today. Played as Rogue recently, played as Rebel and Horror recently, I think I played Chicken because of the updates to the, her throw. I feel like I haven't played Steroids in a while. Or YV, but I think I played YV in the update video. Oh, that's right, I looped with him in the update video because he got a new Ultra thingy. I guess it's melting time. So this will be just the torturous episode where nothing goes right. And I, I can be okay with that, I suppose. Gotta have one every once in a while and bring yourself back down. Keeps your, your skills honed, you know? Playing as melting is... It's, it's a toughie. But... Get your skills going. That dude was invincible. Did you see that shit? I shot him straight in the face at the beginning of the level, and he didn't have any of it. He was not having any of that. Okay. Nope. <laughs> not. Yep. <laughs> That's what happens when you play as melting. He's, uh, he's easy to kill. There's a machine gun, so we can at least shoot a little faster. Take the grenade launcher, because it's good. We're killing maggots. We are starting to sit on some rads, which is good. Getting lots of maggots is exceptional for melting because he gets literally double rads from them, which is awesome. Okay, whatever. I I meant to use a grenade launcher, but I just sort of right-clicked until it worked, and that's acceptable, I suppose. Alright, so we got two levels on the first level. There's still some more shenanigans happening now. Oh, yep, there's one dude just hiding in this corner. I appreciate your efforts, kind sir. Yeah, so strong spirit, definitely, without a doubt. Um, open mind, I guess? I mean, Euphoria is not terrible. I guess we'll go open mind. Get that extra chest spawn. It's pretty good. Definitely over underrated. <laughs> Whoopsie. Definitely underrated. Oh baby, this is like melting stream. Yes. Just rolling in the rads. Oh my goodness. Careful, careful, careful. Careful! Oh my gosh. Alright, we're fine. We're just dandy. Jesus. We are just rolling in the radiation. Wow, we may have level 5 at the end of the Big Bandit fight. This is insane. It's not guaranteed though, so don't count on it. Nerds. Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, we do have strong spirit. Gotta keep that in mind. Hopefully we can get the the meme combo of bloodlust and strong spirit. Okay, he's dead. Give me the rads, scorpion. Oh baby, we are level five. That is crazy, actually. That is actually insane. And there's more to come. Shotgun. No thanks. This is insane. We're gonna take scarier face. It's, it's a pretty good mutation. I, I like the mutations we have right now. They're not top tier, but they're definitely mid. I'd say mid tier mutations. Oh fuck, a big ball guy, just what I wanted. We definitely murder all the other ball guys in the area so he can't poison them. God, there's a lot of ball guys. Sons of bitches are multiplying. I got skills, they're multiplying. Oh no you don't! Okay. No! Oh! Okay, that was dumb. That was really dumb. <laughs> um, so, I got hit after I picked up the health. So, I lost, I got strong spear back and then immediately lost it. Here's our ticket out. There's really not any good mutation. I mean, mutations. There's not any good uh, s 
stuffs for us. Guns, I mean. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. Um, that's okay. We'll just keep the grenade launcher, even though it terrifies me. I could really go... So, here's where we're gonna use... Shoot the poop. We're gonna shoot all the... All of the pizza boxes in hopes that they contain pizza. It is rare that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles do like their pizza. Oh, there we go. There's the pizza. The hero we need. There's another toxic bow. Son of a bitch. It's okay, because we'll just grab some ammo and run out of here. See you later, nerds. Okay, there's Throne Butt, so GG. Not really, but it's pretty good with melting. Makes all the corpse explosions pretty good, and also makes him make a badass noise every time he does it, and that's always fun. Nice, I knew that was going to be a chain reaction. Oh yeah, so in this update, uh... Oh Jesus, that could have been real bad. So in this update, um... The snow tanks... Oh Jesus, don't be so aggressive! Just be yourself, okay. Uh, this update, the snow tanks actually do have corpses, so that is, like, really good for melting. Don't run at me when I have a grenade launcher in my hand. Don't you know what that spells? Spells doom for all that are around. What did that drop? Max explosives. A flare gun! Best gun. Not really, I just consider it underpowered. Okay, we're fine. Just gotta grab a health kit that hopefully one of these friends will drop for me. One of our friends will drop a health kit for us. Surely. Someday. Oh, fuck. Laser pistol hyper rifle. Okay. I like that gun. Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me, mate? I, I literally can't get hit by a single bullet! And so naturally we spawn the guy that shoots 12 bullets at a time. Yeah, you like that flare gun, nerd. Oh, you don't. You don't like it. That's right. So we got a hyper rifle. That's pretty good against Big Dog. I mean, like, everything's good against Big Dog. So... I don't really know what I was going for there. But I'm just gonna spam the shit out of it because I don't want to be here for very long. Careful around your friends. Oh, Jesus. No! <laughs> Alright, we're fine. We're fine. It's just Big Dog. I ran too close to him when it blew up. It's all good. Everything is fine. We're gonna make it work. We didn't have the dream combo, so... Not too upset. But we did have, a, like, a lot of levels. Like, really fast. But, that's okay. No big deal, we're just gonna have our ultra by the labs. I mean, like, not a big deal, but like, you suck. Steel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll take those bullets if you don't mind. Take them bullets off your hands, mister. Oh, the shot in the back. It hurts. Alright. Oh, baby. An experience cache. <laughs> and by that I mean a maggot. Melting's best friend. Oh, a shotgun. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with melting. We are melting the butter on this cake. I think there's icing involved as well. Alright. Oh, how do you like them apples? Freaking crispy and red delicious, like any good American. Alright. Killed the last maggot that was hiding 
from my clutches. No, no big deal. Just got thrown, but an extra feet. So, like, winning combo arena already. I just spam the right click. I have no fear. Literal zero fear. Shakespeare. Get wrecked, nerd. I'm not even afraid of your big bandit horse hockey. Oh god, I'm a little worried about that bandit, though. Baby bandit. Little, little bandit. Okay. What else we got cooking on this level? Other than your freaking bitch ass. Not just that dude's bitch ass, that's fine. Impact wrist is really good uh, with Melting's throne butt. Combos very well, so I'm glad I got it. Because I like combos just as much as the next guy. Instead, I got sniped by a bandit. I hate that so much. Like, there's nothing worse than dying to a bandit. Like, he, they shoot so slow and just totally random directions. And if you die to them, it's like, oh, what are you doing, mate? Oh. Okay, stay calm, everyone. Damn, no maggots this time, unfortunately. We'll get him someday. Extra feet, so we could go bloodlust for the chance of meme, but I think we better just play it safe for now. I really like extra feet as a mutation. I'm sure a lot of people would have just gone with bloodlust off the bat there, um, and I totally respect that. But uh, I I really dig extra feet. I didn't used to, but it's it's pretty good for dodging. I mean, extra speed, like you know, some people don't like it because it throws off their speed calculations in their brain which is cool but uh you know I I really like it makes me feel like my natural character plant fine I'll take it this time there we go bloodlust we could almost like build plants right there just like the green Extra feet and then the blood dripping from- Oh, the assassin! I saw him, but I didn't think he was gonna like- I don't know. Usually they like wake up and they kind of sit there. I didn't think he was gonna go full ham bone yet. Oh, baby. You see all those maggots over there? I see money, money, money. Alright, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Bet you bet your prized cattle that we are- Level two already. Two and a third. If you're like a twelve year old child. Really probably like six really. Six year old kids kinda do the whole like in a quarter business. Yes, yeah, so we'll take throne butt again because it's like real good. Borderline essential to play is melting, to have his throne butt. But a chain reactions of doom. Take, take the slugger if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, give me that level three. Thanks for your service, kind gentlemen. You can die, and then we'll use your corpse to kill everyone else. There's a wrench, and I'll take it just in case I need to. And we'll get shells for the slugger. Excellent. Good, good stuff. Extra feet again. The game knows, man. It knows. Okay, I'll take the assault slugger. For the distance plays. Oh god, be careful. Yeah. Actually, just kidding. Be as reckless as you want. And you will always win. Because you're the greatest of all time. Crossbow. I do like the crossbow. But we already have lots of ammo for the slugger. So I feel like we should commit to it instead. That's probably the only reason why I'm keeping it over the crossbow right now. Plus, I, I tend to just kind of commit to the first gun that I pick up. That I consider, like, in a tier of being equal. 
So I consider the slugger and the crossbow to be equal for the most part. I prefer the crossbow. Um, anyway, but I like once I picked it up, I I'm you know I'm not gonna switch out because I I feel a dedication. I feel a loyalty to the the slugger. Now if it's a gun that's like straight up better, like no contest really, then I'll I'll obviously switch it out. Regardless of ammo. Like a hyper ri hyper rifle for the uh, assault rifle, etc. A laser rifle for even things like, you know, a shotgun. I'm not going to commit to that over there. Because I don't consider them to be kind of equal tiers. I feel like the laser rifle is in a tier in its own. So, speaking of the laser rifle, um, it's right here. But we don't have very much energy. Um, we have literally max bullets. But... I think we'll take it over the slugger. So we'll see how that goes. Even though we just got slugger ammo from that ammo chest. Because I consider the laser rifle to be better than the slugger. There you go. More tier meta for you. Unfortunately, we don't have the slugger, so we can't bounce shots around the corner to get to that guy. And by that guy, I mean the car. That I would prefer to blow up. These guys wouldn't shoot me. I also prefer that. Nothing there, okay. It's fine. Just mow these suckers down. God, I... This is tough, man. Mountain is a tough trucker. A tough father trucker. I saw an ad on the road when I was driving back from school, and it was like, drive, drive trucks for us at DRV Papa. And I was like, drive Papa? Like, I don't, like their company name wasn't, it didn't have anything to do with like father or Papa or anything like that. It was just like DRV Papa. It, it was funny, alright. It's not something you see often. Alright. So we did get level 2. Sparely. Mmm. We'll take impact wrists. Please give me the thrown butt combo. You know I deserve it. I've worked hard for it. Game. Baby, just swimming in the rads. Yeah, yeah, come on. Alright, assault rifle is better than a revolver, clearly. Clearly. They also use the same bullet type. Um, yeah, plutonium hunger is pretty good. Definitely, I'd say better than those other mutations. Recycled gland is decent, no doubt in my mind, but it's not what we desire so early in the game. You fuckers need to die. Oh! No! <laughs> oh, I was so close to killing him. Oh, I was just being too reckless. Alright. Rad city, boys. Rad, rad city. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. I'm excited. Already got one level. Very nice. Don't tell me that's the end of the level. Ah, Toucan Sam. Oh, there's an ammo chest too. Bah! Alright, let's just take second stomach and then hope for Rhino skin. Because I consider it to be better than stress and shotgun shoulders. So there you go, laser pistol, take that. Oh baby, we are gonna roll in the rads. Yeah, nice. Almost got another mutation on this level, so we'll easily get it next floor. <laughs> sure, we'll take Bloodlust because it's just way better than any of those other mutations that we have. Jesus. We are unnecessarily rolling in health. Which is, you know, totally fine by me. Just wait for him to charge through the level, I suppose. 
No? Okay. He doesn't wanna? That's fine. Three, four. Oh, that was five. <laughs> I started counting one shot late. Whoops. Okay, yeah, you guys need to die before you cause any more troubles for our family. Before you bring shame to family. No ammo there, which is fine. We did get the ammo from the SMG already. We're halfway to five, which is great. Um, oh man, I'd really like to get Rhino skin. Man, I, like these are, I guess I'll take boiling veins. No more dying a big dog now. Or at least his explosion part. I'd really like to get Strong Spirit, like very much. Strong Spirit or Rhino Skin would be ideal. I mean, I'm certainly not going to complain if I were to get faced with a Rabbit Paw or a Throne Butt. But I'm calling for Strong Spirit over those. Like, if I saw a Strong Spirit in front of those, like, with those other choices, I'd probably take it. Probably Rhino Skin I would take over even Strong Spirit. But hopefully I would still be given the choice afterwards for it, because I still think it's a good mutation. Get our energy. There's a shotgun. Thanks for the shells. Even though we're not going to be using that shotgun, we still get the ammo from it. Okay. Nothing to see here. We did get our level. Damn! Still don't want Recycle Glander Gamma Guts. Currently. We'll take Plutonium Hunger though. I mean, we're, we're just one shot away from dying, which is so dumb. I mean, at least I can just walk through that fire and not worry about it. I can walk right next to that explosion and not worry about it. But anything can shoot me and I'll die. No, it's slam, slam, spit, and then you shoot. Okay. We'll get him eventually. Okay, okay. Gotta watch out for Ball Guy. He does kind of pursue the player. I didn't initially know that. Um, that's a pop gun. Okie doke. Alright, you need to chill out, my friend. I'm gonna shoot that car and the people behind it. There's a mimic. And a flame shotgun I consider to be better than the slugger for the most part. So I will pick it up. I mean, I know I can't die- Oh, Jesus! I know I can't die to the explosions, but it's just force of habit to blow up cars at this point. And I think it's a good one. Right. So, we're switching out the flame shotgun for the auto shotgun because- Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> just one shot from a crow kills the run because we didn't- We had so many good mutations and just not any that could sustain us. Seriously, just like Strong Spirit would have just been so good. This is probably going to be the last run. Can't, man. I, I like playing as Melting for the challenge, but sometimes it's just so frustrating to rely on literally like one mutation. Two, I guess now because of Rhino Skin and like Strong Spirit, but like. Man, it, it's just, it's not, it's not fun. <laughs> like, it, okay, it's fun to like, right-click like crazy, all right, and, and kill everything like that. Like, yes, yes, everyone loves that. There's no doubt, all right, and I get that Melting is always going to be like this character that just can kind of steamroll, all right, but the fact that you rely on just one mutation is so frustrating. Two, okay, two mutations. It's like, well then just get good, scrub. I've seen people that can do it. You should just get good. And it's like, you know what? It's not that easy. <laughs> Alright? Seriously, not getting hit for an entire run is so, like, ridiculously dumb. It's just like playing the Lost, you know? Everyone complained about the Lost, but you're not allowed to complain about Melting because the devs aren't going to change it, and they said that they haven't. It's like, you know what? You can just... I don't know, I feel like at that point you're just being stubborn. I'm not just like bitching about, like, 
buff Melting's health or like some shit like that. I'm, I'm saying like at least make it so that he can get Rhino Skin like more frequently or Throne Butt or Strong Spirit. Just like make it happen more often. That's all I'm saying. Then it'll be fine. Then you can get him every time and then you won't have to worry about it. Otherwise, you're just having to play perfectly to not get hit, and that's, like, stressful. That's not fun. Sure, it makes you feel accomplished when you finish it, and I suppose that's kind of the point of some games. Most games, really. But, like, I don't know. It's tough, man. It's tough. Screwdriver, not bad. So during my whole rant, we got literally the two mutations that I was ranting about, having to never get. So, of course that probably like nullifies the rant. Not to mention we did get Rabbit Paw after that, after I chose Rhino Skin over it. So this is like the most GG of all runs. I'm sure next we'll get like Second Stomach or something just to meme it up, you know. Extra feet's not bad though. I don't know, maybe Melton can have some weird, like, skin armor thing that makes it so that you can get hit at least once before you die. Like, a sort of strong spirit, I guess. But, like, it recharges between levels or something. Because it's just so frustrating. Getting killed by literally one hit from anything. Just because... Maybe even, like, every three levels it regens. Just to make it pretty tough. But, like, waiting that long to get a decent mutation, you know, re-rolling with patience, or, like, taking up other mutations that are decent but can't really, like, save you, it's just, like, you're just waiting and waiting and waiting. And, I mean, sure, it's great when you start off a run, it's like, yeah, I got the three mutations I'm looking for, now I can actually, like, start the run. Glad that didn't blow up. It's just, it's also funny to me how... Boiling Veins used to be such a crucial mutation, and now I feel like it's probably one of the most useless mutations. Because it's just... It, it has one niche, and it's to make you not die from explosions, and not a lot of things kill you with explosions or fire damage, okay? So you can't die from that guy or an explosion in, like, fire traps, okay? But other than that, you can just play better. And I know I was just arguing about against the whole, like, Oh, just play better and, you know, stop bitching. But, like, that's the argument with Boiling Veins. It used to be crucial because that was the only way you could guarantee not die to Little Hunter. Oh! I'm done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.